Um, speaking of riding, I called you up the other day and you said that uh, you'd been on a, on a ride, like it was only like 15, 16 miles, but you were in the red the whole time. Oh, yeah, is, that, is that typical Conrad no. training strategy right there? Or? Well, I mean, it's a lack of training strategy at least to that. It's like, I, uh, it's, it's more, uh, well, all of my easygoing rides were done 20 years ago when I was actually more in shape to ride. You know, now it's kind of like I get frustrated that I can't get from point A to point B in the time that I want to get there. So I try and get as close to that time as I can, and it's like average speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want the average speed to be high. I know that my average speed when, when I was younger was always say like at this level here, or at least for me it was at a, at a level that I wanted to be at. Now it's kind of like down here. And so, you know, I, I try and make up for that by, you know, going as fast as I can. And uh, so I'll put it in the top ring or, you know, in, in, in a higher ring than I would normally travel in. And and I'll just try and keep my cadence, you know, at around, I don't know, 94, 96, somewhere like, like a Nice like, and high. Like, yeah, something that's high for me, you know. Yeah. And so I'll do that. And then the, the, the downside of that is that the next day, I was pushing it too hard and I feel like I got hit by a Mack truck. You know? I mean, it's like, you know you've had a really intense ride when your whole body is sore. Like, like there's not, it's not like, say, what I imagine would, it would be like in a boxing match where like your, your, your head is sore and your hands are sore and maybe your chest muscles are sore. It's like everywhere is evenly sore. That's when you know you've had a really intense ride. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Your, your, your big toe is as fatigued as your deltoids. You know? <laughs> so, I mean, that's, uh, that, that's how I judge a good ride. But um, most of the time, though, you know, I have to consider the fact that I'm, on, that I'm like just a few months away from being 50 years old, and I have to compare myself to other people that are 50 years old. Mm -hmm. And among them, as long as I'm, if, if I were to take an imaginary group of 50-year-old males, and if I were to say, I want to be in like the 15, 20% upper part, not the 15, 20% lower part, yeah, group, yeah. Then, then I'm happy with that. And, and you know, so, um, but uh, this year will be the 26th time that I've participated in the MS-150. Ah, and, okay. uh, yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, we're Round Rock County is actually gonna, uh, we have a Round Rock County cycling team. And what I love about it is that um, it is just regular folks that go at a, moderate pace no one's trying to to prove anything you know? uh and and i, I think that the, at this stage in my life that that's where uh that's where i need to be is kind of you know right right there because because if i'm always trying to you know uh one-up myself and try and do better than i did the time before or set a personal best or whatever then it, it just kind of makes it like a dog chasing tail. like you're never going to get anywhere you know so i i like to look for other things like you know uh, how long can I keep, let's say if I want to cruise at 17 miles an hour, or 18 miles an hour, or whatever the target is, how, how close to that can I get without deviating, you know, to where, um, in other words, how even can my ride be? Mm -hmm. and, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so what I'm, my goal now is whatever the ride ends up being, the evenness of it is what I'm looking for. Like, is, is my cadence steady? Is breathing steady? Is the heart rate steady? Is there... The, what I don't want is like spikes like this, you know, and, uh, and the pickle juice definitely helps with the, with that quite a bit, actually. So. Yeah. You guys have nice roads up here, too. Yeah, we do, yeah. Um, the, the big problem that we, we face up here is, uh, well, the, the good thing about this area is that when there are hills, they're like long, rolling hills, um, and there's nothing that, like if you go just over off of, uh, what's it, 360? There's some hills that are like this, you know, okay. a few. Yeah. Um, but here, you know, everything is very smooth and easy, and you're not so exhausted that you can't do anything the rest of the day. So you can go out for an early morning ride and come back, and you still feel pretty good, you know, and uh, you're not too exhausted. Um, Unless you but, hit that wind out east, you have the wind. Yeah. <laughs> then you yeah. get that, that full, body, full body exhaustion like you're talking yeah, about. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know, my, well, you know, funny story about, I, I used to live in an apartment right off of Palmer Lane before it was all developed. Okay. And every day after work, without fail, no matter what the weather was, I was out there riding, and I had one hour to go 20 miles. It was out and back, out and back. And almost every day, uh, it was right around there, maybe a minute or two, either above or below, but it was right where I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. But then one day I got out there and I didn't, um, 
I didn't realize how strong the wind was. And I thought halfway into it, the wind was at my back. I was like, wow, I'm killing it. I'm, I'm, I'm on fire. This is great. And then I turned, I faced the wind. And it was like, oh, crap. That's what's going on. Because <laughs> it's like you, you think when you're going, it's like, wow, this is, I'm really, I'm on fire. This is awesome. And then you, then you hit that wind and you're just like, oh, boy. Uh, and so that one ended up being like an, uh, essentially a two-hour ride instead of a one-hour ride <laughs> because it was 10 miles coming back in just a god-awful wind with rain and hail and all this other – well, the hail wasn't at the beginning, but it was at the end. And oh, yeah. It was just like, this is terrible. So, um, yeah, I don't do those kind of rides anymore. <laughs> I just want to have fun now.